Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I need to make another batch of my infused oil that I use in my skin cream. Now I've been using this skin cream for a couple years. It's my own recipe. Uh, I use it on my face. I use it as an eye makeup remover. I use it on any parts of my body where my skin gets extra dry, my hands, my heels, my knees wherever it is needed. I even use it as a lip balm. If I don't have, you know, one of my stick lip balms handy, I'll just grab one of these because I usually keep, a, I have a couple of these around the house that I keep handy all the time because it's, it's just my favorite. I love it. Um, here's, here's how it looks like in the tin. And I also sell these on my Etsy store. However, I do have a video on how I make the skin cream. Eventually, I'll probably reshoot that video too. Because uh, I've been trying to reshoot a lot of them now that I have better lighting in here. Uh, but anyway, if you want to know how to make your own, you can go ahead and check out that recipe, uh, that video. Today it's about the oil that I use in the skin cream. Now I did do a video a year or so ago, again another one I did before I got the good, better lighting in here. But th that was just on infused oils in general. This one I wanted to focus just on making the skin cream oil <laughs> so this is good for uh basically it's, i call it a skin cream because of the way i use it but you can use it as a salve for uh broken skin you know cracked skin uh, rashes whatever it is burns even uh because we've got a lot of really great herbs in here well I, there's four that i use in here i have my marshmallow leaves and some flowers in there I have rose petals, I've got some pansies, and I've got some calendula. So let's get to it so you can see what I do and what all I put in. All right, I already have a few pansies in here. These are ones that I dried up yesterday that I picked fresh. I didn't want to start a new jar because my pansies are just about done for the year. And I already have several jars uh, right now. And so I'm going to open up this jar of pansies from last year. And I almost forgot this. And I put in, I try to put in about equal amounts of each. Now, however you choose to do it is totally up to you. And even if you just want to use just one of these, whether it be pansies or calendula, calendula is definitely recommended. Uh, marshmallow or rose. I just like to use them all. They all have very similar qualities, but they also have some that are kind of stand out a little differently than the others so I like to get a, you know just all of that good stuff in there and one of these days I do plan on coming up with a recipe using plantain and comfrey and some others that will be more specifically for uh, helping with any kind of skin ailments where this is just an all-around everything kind of skin cream now you can see how full I have the jar I'm gonna go ahead and pack these down yeah, that looks pretty good. So I didn't weigh it out or measure it out. I just, I want to make sure that my jar is at least halfway full. I might put some more in there. I think I will put a little bit more in there. I usually get a little more full than that because I want a really good infused oil. So I'm going to put a couple pinches more of each of the herbs. Still using up some flowers from 2016 here. These are very crispy, these, these ones, and these are 2016. And a few more pans. And we'll take a look at that. Okay, that looks good. That's about as full as I like my jar when it comes to, comes to that. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, Chosen Foods Avocado Oil. This is my personal favorite for just about anything when it comes to infusing oils. You know, anything that's got, a, you know, a good shelf life, can handle high heat, and uh, it's avocado oil is really good for your skin. But another option is grapeseed oil. You could also use uh, uh, olive oil, but uh, if you're thinking about storing it for a while, concerned about uh, it maybe getting too warm, I recommend going with something more like the grapeseed or the avocado oil. I've had my olive oil, I've done some infusions with olive oil and had it uh, go rancid because it got too warm where I had it sitting. Now, I personally like to let mine infuse in the living room. It's actually in a dark place in the living room. 
but also where it stays nice and warm because it's not too far from the wood stove. Now what's going to happen is this is going to, you see it bubbling, okay, and so I'm going to let the, those bubbles come up. I'm actually going to get a chopstick and stir that up to get all that out, and then I'm going to pour some more oil in there. So that almost used up my whole bottle, which is typical. But I go through a lot of this because my skin cream has actually been pretty popular. But this, this same method you can use for any kind of uh, oil that you want to infuse. You know, if you're wanting to do like plantain and comfrey like I'm talking about, I, I'm still trying to decide what all blend I want to use for that. I'm thinking plantain, comfrey, and calendula, but I will get to that in another video. But anyway, whatever herb you want to use, use the same method. It doesn't matter what it is. Even if you're going to, if you're going to do like a flavored oil, again, I recommend it going with the avocado oil and you decided to use something like garlic, make sure your garlic is dried. That's the only other tip I would like to, I, I could throw in there. Okay, just a little bit more. We get it topped off. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, look at that. It just looks beautiful. Now I'm just going to put a lid on there, and then I'll go ahead and write on it what it is and date it, because that's really important. I like to let my oil sit and infuse for two months. Typically, you don't really have to let it go that long, but two months to me is a good time frame. This one has been infusing since the end of July. <laughs> And so this one, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and strain this one out. And you'll see the difference. First of all, let me show you what the avocado oil looks like just plain. It has a little bit of color to it, okay, but not much. It's, it's a pretty light colored oil. And I want you to see that so you can see the difference now when I go to strain it. So I'm going to use my mesh strainer. I will go ahead and link to these below. I have a set of three and I just love them. I use the biggest one typically for cheese and vinegar when I'm straining out my vinegar. And when I'm doing the oil, I don't throw a cloth over it. I put a lot of herbs in this one. I think I put more herbs in this one than I did that last one. I really filled the jar full. And then I like to just press out as much oil as I can. And obviously I'm not going to end up with a whole quart of oil because a lot of it was taken up with the herbs. Now I'm not done pressing that out, but I'm going to go ahead and dump this in here now. Now look at that color. It's definitely got a lot deeper color to it. That means it's been well infused from the all the other herbs in there. Now, if you want to do a second infusion, you can do that. You can actually take your already infused oils, add some fresh herbs to them, and then infuse again. Fresh meaning not the ones that you already used. Put some, you know, get some more dried ones. I always use dried, especially when working with oils. Uh, you're gonna, it's gonna give you a stronger result. You don't want any moisture in that oil on top of that. Now, since these herbs are very full of oil, after I press out as much as I think I can get out of them, I am not going to throw this into my uh, garden for compost. What I will do with these is I am just gonna throw them in the fireplace. They will burn up really well. Now, one way you can tell that your herbs are done infusing is they'll, they'll be very crispy. They won't be, you know, they'll still have some softness to them, but you can, can you hear the sort of crunchy crispiness of it? That means it's, it's, they are done. Now, you can see that oil is still dripping out of there. I can keep pressing it, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it sit for a while uh, now that i got a good amount of it dumped into another jar. And I have another jar I'll put the rest of this in. So I'll just let that sit and then come back and then press it out some more with a fork. And then I'm just going to throw these herbs right here into the fireplace and they will burn up quickly. 
Okay, get my lid on there, and then again, I will write on this so I make sure I know exactly what it is. So there's one jar of infused oil ready for making skin cream. Oh, and I also use this in my lip balm recipe. So you can find a video on how I do the lip balm right up here. So I make an herbal lip balm. Okay, well, it's really that simple to do. All you got to do once you get that in there and you mix it up is then just let it sit for up to two months. Two months is what I personally recommend. You can go ahead and check out some different books and stuff. And, and I recommend Rosemary Gladstar's book. She has some information in there on uh, infusing oils. I'll go ahead and link to that book below. And there's other great herb books. One of my other top favorites is Amy Fuel's uh, The Homesteader's herbal guide I think it's called I always forget the name of it and I will link to that below too those are my top two favorites when it comes to herb books though I do have several books and I do and I and they're all great for various reasons but those books will also have not only do they talk about the herbs and the benefits of them they also have good recipes in there and that's why one of the reasons I highly recommend those too and great pictures and just really well put together so don't forget to date it, check it in two months, and then strain it out, and then you can use that in whatever salve, skin cream, lip balm, or whatever it is that you want to use it in. All right, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. Thanks for watching. Take care, and God bless.